What's up, man? Patrick James here, and welcome to another episode of Raw Dating Advice. Now, in this episode, I wanted to react to a little clip from the Impulsive Podcast. They got into a discussion about how soon should you be getting sexual with a girl, and they also started talking about who on their team can actually pull. As a dating coach, I just couldn't resist joining in on the conversation, so let's start the clip. I don't think the boys know how to close. Just for clarification, when he says, I don't think the boys know how to close, I believe he's referring to the ability to pull a girl home from a club or a first date type of scenario and actually end up having sex with that girl. I, can we talk about this? I don't think the boys know how to close it. I'm starting to get worried about it. Kevin and you. I'm actually impressed with Caleb. I'm not gonna lie. Caleb, this guy, a fucking I'm impressed with Caleb. Caleb's a fucking I'm impressed with Caleb. <laughs> Caleb. Caleb knows how to have boots on the ground. Like he... I have videos. I literally have videos of him just making out with girls at the bar. I have to say this. So many people think, oh, if you can make out with a girl at the club or the bar, then surely you can pull. Just because a girl is willing to make out with you or kiss you or even flirt with you in a public place does not mean she's going to be willing to let you slide up in that in private. All right. Those are two separate things. And pulling and actually closing is a very different skill from generating enough attraction to where you can get a make out at a bar or a nightclub. Just because you can make out does not mean you can pull or close. Uh. Yeah, but also at the same time, I just feel like these kids also have like, they just all have really big like hearts too. They're just- uh, Innocent. Yeah, you know, they're kind of pure. Like Mac likes, to Mac loves the idea of striking up a conversation, really creating a little bit of like a longer lasting. It, this is, it's beautiful. It's not something to be, you guys need to learn how to close. Yeah, yeah it's a like, window of really opportunity. Fun. He was about to try to say in a very nice way, yeah, Mac, his strategy for getting girls is very different. He likes to build that intense emotional connection. And I think he had to stop himself because at the end of the day, the one way ticket to the friend zone is by trying to build a super strong connection with her and make her see that you guys have everything in common. If that's your strategy for success and you aren't aware that it's not a good strategy, then I have to ask you right now, how's it working out for you? The moment that her first impression of you is the fact that you guys are friends it's very hard for her to change that impression because her reproductive strategy is very opposite to sleep around with every dude because for a woman if she happens to get knocked up it's a big biological commitment for her it takes nine months and she can only have one baby at a time whereas guys yeah we might think if I like this girl I'll sleep with her and move on to the next one it's not a nine month commitment for us so naturally biologically there's a difference in our strategy for how we want to interact with the opposite sex which is why if there's no sexual chemistry there but there's an intense emotional bond there she's not gonna say intense emotional bond equals give me your babies right now you want to be able to ideally build that emotional connection on the foundation that you guys are sexually interested in each other all right so that's a very key distinction I want to make from the dating coach perspective like it's actually it, it, you you had you had multiple options yesterday I mean you could hold on Okay. Multiple. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. You can already tell he's getting a little bit defensive, but it's all right. Let's see what he says in response to this. You're assuming that I wanted to close, but that's what we got. You're assuming that I wanted to close to me. As a dating coach, I see this as qualifying yourself. When you're qualifying yourself, that's another way of saying you are selling yourself. And here, when he was saying that his strategy is, I wanna connect with girls, and then they give him shit for that, and he says, oh, hold on, who said I wanted to close in the first place? I immediately am gonna call bullshit. You would've slept with that girl if the opportunity was there, or you would've wanted to date that girl if the opportunity was there, and you not willing to admit that is, in a way, ineffectively qualifying yourself. Well, right, hold yeah. on a second. No, we're not. No. There was a point in the night where you, you, made <laughs> you it said very the clear. following statement. <laughs> you said, Miss Pause. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you think I think even Ray Charles to... was like, I see what's going on here, bro. <laughs> You're not closing. <laughs> that was earlier in the night, was it not? To, to have Max back, if it's really your wife, do you want to have that type of interaction with her on the first or second or third night? Like, you got to work for There's those entire kind of conversations around this. I mean, I think they're already having the conversation, but carry on. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you going to sleep with I, your wife on the first night? Do you think? I, I do don't think so. Do you me think? Personally, no. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. The reason he's saying that is because now he has to defend the position that he just took as sex is not that important to me. And if we're thinking about effective strategies, do you really want the strategy of trying to weasel your way out of the friend zone to eventually date a girl? Or would you rather just date a girl right off the bat? Do you want to beat around the bush or go directly through the bush? The effectiveness of people who successfully weasel their way out of a friend zone, it's way harder to do that than just seeing if you guys have any chemistry right off the bat anyways. And if you struggle to do that, then that just means that you have obvious room for improvement in your game when you meet women in person. What if the sparks I, fly? 
Do you know she's yeah, an I, innocent girl? You've seen it through time. She's not one to oh, like slip into dicks. Like yeah. she's like, yo, this is a picnic. <laughs> How did I end up in this dick? I think it's tough. Whoa! <laughs> How did I end up inside this cock? I, and it's not the first one. I've slipped into many dicks before it. <laughs> I, I can only say this. I can only what say this. Fuck? From from looking back, anytime that's ever happened, yeah. it has not worked out. Got it. Because clearly I'm not married. Okay. So based on statistics, <laughs> basically his logic here is because I am not married to any of the girls that I've had sex with in the past, then having sex with a girl is not an effective dating strategy. Can you see the flaw in that logic here? But it makes me wonder how many of you guys out there watching this, if you currently are not getting the level of results in your dating life that you would like to achieve, or you see other guys achieving, but you're not quite there yet, then you got to wonder how many of these limiting beliefs do you have in your mindset around women? And if you have those limiting beliefs, that you weren't quite aware of, or maybe you know that you have some, but you don't even know what they are, that shows me that that's a massive area of opportunity for you to really grow once you get the right paradigm shifts. Based on statistical logical analysis, as Logan Paul might like, um, it has happened. I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll meet her. I think it'll develop over time. Friendship. I, I, I would prefer to foster a friendship before it becomes intimate. So it's not predicated on uh, physicality. Yeah. I've come out of the friend zone and actually ended up hooking up with the girl who friend zoned me, but the steps to get there, I had to do so much improving of myself and improving of my own game just to get to that point. How many guys get in a friend zone with a girl and try to get out of the friend zone and fail? I promise you it happens 99% of the time where a guy is not able to get out of the friend zone. In that 1% of the time where a guy might be able to get out of the friend zone, something drastic changes. Whether she drastically changes her relationships status or she lowers her standards a lot for some reason or another, or he drastically improves himself to get out of the friend zone and stops doing all the things that led him to get in the friend zone to begin with, I would say that's a scenario where, yeah, that 1% of the time it can occur, but if that's your strategy for success, what are you gonna choose? The one that works 99% of the time or the one that works 1% of the time? Have, you, you, have you had regular dates without sleeping on the first night? Absolutely. And you're not married? I'm 26, man. That's what I'm <laughs> saying, your theology there. Okay, I will give you a pass. You are relatively young, Mac. You're only 26, even though with that beard, I would have never guessed. Sorry, Mac. The one thing I will say is, that, and once again, to, to back Mac on it, is any girl that I've ever had like pretty substantial feelings for or a desire to move into any kind of longer lasting relationship with have, I would say, I think 100% been girls that made me wait past the first three or four nights. Okay. <laughs> That's it. You're Kevin. I'm curious on how he defines three or four nights. There's two ways to look at this. Three or four times that you hung out or the first three or four nights after you first met her. I would say if a girl and I hang out three plus times and no sexual chemistry has developed between us, I'm going to naturally lose interest. If one girl is not willing to explore sexual chemistry with me and we've hung out three, four, five times, naturally I've already met other women. I'm going out, I'm approaching women. I'm either gonna friend zone her or naturally she's gonna fall off. So I'm curious as to the way that he defines it. That could be over the course of, you know, two, three weeks, four weeks, a month. Like I, it's, oh, I don't I mean, see. I don't mean like seeing them in four nights uh, in a row. I mean, phone calls in the middle, like. Okay, so it seems like we're on the same page here. It could be two weeks to a month. I guess that counts. What is the what is the uh, the start date for this? Because my window was always thirty days. I was if you want to be my girlfriend, yeah. right? Like uh, I want you to command respect for me, like smart to not let me sleep with you in the first thirty days. Mm -hmm. It's my recommendation. That's a, that, and there's whole. I mean, there's probably whole caller daddy episodes about this, and and a million other shows. I mean that. I could I could see men getting impatient a little bit prior to that period. But 30, does, thirty but days does, seems a, li a but, little long. But does the time off? Uh, like in between maybe texting, you're not together. All the Does that count? Well, are, do, are, are you including uh, blowies or old fashions or OTPG? Uh, 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 Should I be? O OTP? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. All right. I would say blowies, old fashions, over the pants, hand jobs, as he's about to say, OTP, HJ. I would say that is exploring sexual chemistry. So for me, if I hung out with a girl two, three times and we didn't have sex, like penetration, but we started getting sexual, I'm okay with that. But it's when you hang out with a girl consistently and nothing happens, you don't touch her, she doesn't touch you, there's no kissing, there's no nothing, there's no even hint that that might be a possibility in the near future, then that's where I start to you know, get impatient, as Mike said. Now, 
Here's the other thing I wanna add in. Naturally, men and women, because of the reasons that we talked about before, are going to relate to each other in different ways because of their reproductive strategies. So understand this, men and women have different frames of what they want. Men are very sexual, and because it doesn't cost a lot of biological energy for us to have sex with a girl, especially if it results in a pregnancy, we're okay with just having sex and moving on to the next one. That's just our nature. But women, it's much more of an emotional commitment for them to have sex with a guy. And so naturally, understand, if if a woman is prolonging sex with you, a lot of times that is a sign of interest. Now here's what I mean. If a girl really just wanted to give it up that easy and was willing to sleep with you with almost no effort, I'm gonna say chances are that's probably gonna be a one night stand given the fact that she was willing to just let it happen so easily. At the same time, if you meet a girl where you guys do have a lot of chemistry and that tension is there, but she holds off that one time despite the fact that there's all that tension there, that my friend is a sign of interest. I take that as she's so interested in me that she thinks I'm gonna stick around longer if she prolongs it. Now, from that mindset, I will be willing to entertain not having sex with a girl after the first date or on the first night I meet her. But if there's zero tension in your conversations with her, then you need to work on making sure that there is tension there because the fact that she's not wanting to sleep with you is probably a symptom of the fact that you're not creating enough of that sexual tension in that conversation from your point of view. So you're talking about actual penetration. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah. so they can give you blowies like maybe two weeks in. Big time, yeah. Big time, yeah. I'd take a blowjob any day. Got it, got it. Well, yeah, that changes the game. I've always, you know, I've always... That's always been another interesting point, like how how girls categorize or guys categorize, you know, uh, OTP, HAs or, or blows. Yeah, old yeah, 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 yeah. Reach where's, where's, around, what's like the, that kind um, of shit. What's the, because, okay, I say that, but like. Rim jobs. But I, I only mean penetration. You know, like if, some, if someone were to give me a rim job, I wouldn't find that problematic. <laughs> 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 so I'm curious, are you the type of guy who thinks it's respectful and chivalrous to prolong the process of you guys getting sexual with each other? Or are you the type of guy who likes to explore it right off the bat? I'll just tell you myself, me and my girl, first night we met, we ended up doing the deed and then a relationship developed out of that. So there is no necessarily right or wrong answer to this, just strategies that seem to be more effective. So let me know in the comments below how you relate to this and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, man.